Hey guys, welcome to another keto vlog. It's one o'clock, I'm ready to break my fast. I already had coffee with one tablespoon of whipping cream. Well, it's really important not to break your fast by uh, drinking a coffee full of calories. Well, it's really contradiction. People say different things. Um, I mean, the last update I read was that if you intermittent fasting you should not be having anything higher than 50 calories to not break your fast. So what I'm having always in the morning is a coffee with one tablespoon of heavy whipping cream which is 50 calories. So I hope I'm still in fasting so that's how I do it. Now I'm gonna have lunch. I will have my amazing zucchini pork dumplings I made yesterday. This is them guys, they're absolutely delicious. I made a video how to make these, I'm gonna leave it in the description down below so you can check that out and definitely try these out. Mm. Look at that. Even my non-keto husband yesterday said that he loves it. He wants to eat it every week and it's his favorite <laughs> keto recipe so far. Five of these dumplings comes down to about 250 calories, so I'm gonna take it as an awesome appetizer and I'm gonna make some goat cheese strawberry salad a little later on. You guys ready for your daily dosage of cuteness? Miss Ginger here. I can guarantee you that even if you have a bad mood in the morning and you cuddle with this love bug for five seconds, it's just like your mood improves instantly. It's a magic. Well, who would not love this? I really can't exercise. I have all the tribe here bothering me. <laughs> Get out. these elastic bands these are amazing for home exercising if you don't have time or you don't have a chance to get to the gym I really recommend these I do use them a lot and I can really feel it <laughs> so now it's time for me to make the salad it's four o'clock I'm pretty hungry so my lunch part two <laughs> Here it is guys, my awesome goat cheese salad with strawberries and walnuts. It's about 200 calories. I'm gonna season it with this Thai coconut sesame gourmet dressing. This dressing has 18 grams of fat and one total carb in two tablespoons. Well, I'm gonna use about one tablespoon so it will be about half of a carb. So, great option, all these. For afternoon snack, I'm gonna have these chicarone, the barbecue ones. I'm gonna have two servings, which would be 160 calories, two carbohydrates and nine fat. I love these guys. I'm gonna start a dinner today. I'm gonna make some asparagus bacon and egg salad with Dijon vinegar and I'm gonna cook some chicken to go with it. So I'm boiling some eggs for it and just to keep some in the fridge for snacks. I chop the asparagus into bite-sized pieces and I'm gonna put it in the pot and steam it. Whoop, forget one. Meanwhile I'm gonna cook the bacon the way I do it that I don't stink up whole apartment or whole trailer <laughs> and don't get splashes all over my stove. I use a paper towels, plate and microwave. So 
while the bacon is cooking, I'm gonna prepare the dressing. I'm gonna use two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, and one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna season it with some salt and pepper, and that will be my dressing. are done and peeled and now I'm gonna chop this chicken into small cubes and fry it up with some spices. So that's how it looks like all done. I already start eating it so it's not very pretty. We enjoyed the dinner and now it's time to take our daily power walk, so we go in. And I think that's it for today's video, so please if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> and I'm gonna see you again soon in another video. Bye!